was reading the paper and I noticed a job offer looking for test subjects. All I'd have to do was take place in an experiment where I would sit in a room and be observed. At first I was unsure, but then I saw how much they'd be paying me. It seemed simple enough and the payment was more than worth it, and plus I needed the money so when I eventually finished my book I could pay a publisher. So there I was, day one, still clueless, still innocent, still me. Dr. Browning explained that I had to project myself sitting in the chair across from me. He called this other vision my thought form. I was going to be evaluated after two weeks, but I could quit if things got too overwhelming. I didn't know how things could become overwhelming if I was just going to be staring at a chair for six hours. The whole idea seemed ridiculous. The concentration was beginning to hurt. Lights were too bright, sounds too loud, but I had to push through. This was only the beginning. The sound of my breathing was my only company. I didn't understand. Why couldn't I do the simple task? Before I started the day's session, I went to the restroom to familiarize my features, so that today I might just be able to do it. And there I was. It was just like staring in a mirror. Stop. You're making a fool of yourself. The doctor can't see me, but you can. Only this mirror talked back. How are you talking right now? I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> you think I need your permission? Think of me as your subconscious. That should clear things up. Talking to my subconscious right now? Essentially. You talk to me all the time. It's just usually in your head. It took some getting used to and still took a lot of concentration, but eventually she started to become easier to project. My thought form was becoming more real. For some reason, ever since my thought form appeared, talking to other people just seemed too difficult. I couldn't connect with them. They didn't understand me like she did. So I stopped trying. By now projecting her came so naturally that I did it even outside the testing room. I didn't even have to try anymore. It worried me, but I decided to think nothing of it. I'll be trying something new today, Colby. Something involving extra stimuli. I wasn't sure what he meant by that, and nothing seemed to be changing in the confined space I had grown so used to, but when it happened, it was all too noticeable. The stimuli was horrifying, the kind of music you hear in nightmares. It was meant to distract me, but I was stronger than that now. After a while, the music became a dull roar. My mind was tuning it out, and conversations with my thought form continued as usual. You must wonder, what does one talk about with oneself? Well, the conversations were endless. Every moment, every memory was recalled differently between the two of us. She said it was because of perception. I seemed to believe everything she said. And I think she noticed that. She noticed everything. Just been busy. I'm not lying. Yeah, Colby. Why haven't you contacted her? I don't know. Just... I'll tell you why. Because you're spending so much time in your head that I'm taking over. 
I'm becoming real. No, I you can't be. Listen, Brooke, don't mind me. I've just been so overwhelmed with work and the book I'm working on. I'll make it up to you. Dinner at my place this weekend? I watched as my thought form calm broke down. Why couldn't I do that? How could she even be heard by anyone but myself? Was she really becoming a part of my world? She was stronger now. I could feel it. She was starting to look deranged, warped. Now I knew what Dr. Browning meant when he said things would get overwhelming. Oh, darling, don't be bitter. Please don't touch me. What's the matter? You created me. Aren't we friends? I don't have any friends because of you. You can't blame it all on me. You did this to yourself. It's because of you that I'm real now. Go away. This can't be happening. Having trouble? Let me help. No! There you are. I was wondering where you'd Sorry, Dr. There. Browning. I don't think I can take part in this experiment anymore. Have things become too overwhelming? Well, not for me. 